Hello, I'm Renee Barabo, the Practical Shaman, and I'm here tonight to share with you some wind wisdom. Wind wisdom is an ancient technology that I've been working with and uncovering going into the caves of history for the last four years, and it's about time that I'm getting ready to share it, and I think that is really, really exciting. So we're going to start by letting you in on a little secret with my wind whistle. Make yourself comfortable, relax, and this is designed to help you breathe. The breath is of life. The breath is the thing that connects you with every other life form. When you hear that we're all connected and everything is one, it's through the breath. As you breathe in and as you breathe out. When you breathe out, your breath connects with people all over the world in just a matter of a couple of days. Pretty fascinating, don't you think? Well, tonight I'm going to give a little bit more information about some wind wisdom. I'm going to actually pull a compass theme. And back in the Middle Ages, the, the compass was pointed in all the directions of the winds. And for, for our purposes, we're going to use the four major cardinal directions of Eurus, Notus, Zephyrus, and Boreas. Eurus is in the east, Notus is in the south, Zephyrus the west, and Boreas is in the cold north wind. I'm going to actually pull a wind direction from my bowl. Alrighty, tonight we're heading south with notice. And this is about our needs and desire. What do we need and desire in order to feel fully manifested in our life and fully capable of doing what we need to do? So whatever the other wind is that we're going to pull tonight that intersects with our major theme is going to tell us what we're working on specifically. Aha, another bag of wind. This is my home we're at tonight. Take a peek around. Oh, this is the TV we never watch. This is a painting. And I don't know if you can see my Sashi. She's somewhere in here, but she's really rather annoyed that I'm just playing with you and not the wind, not her tonight. All right. So what do we have in here? So we're heading south. We're working with our needs and desires. Oh, and the wind that we're working with. Ah, oh, Cardia. The new wind I've just finished. And she's the Roman wind goddess who is a facilitator. Ovid, the poet, said she closes what is open and shuts what... Wait. She shuts what's open and opens what's shut. Close. It's, it's a new wind goddess. So in the south, what does that mean, Cardia in the south? It talks about what we might be hanging on to that no longer is serving us. You know, what needs, what back doors do we need to close? Think about it. What are the back doors in your life? Close your eyes maybe for a second. And what, what are you thinking about? Well, if this would just happen, then what? I would only be okay if I need this in order to thrive. Sometimes those thoughts are really what keep us disconnected from ourselves. For years, I, I was thinking to myself, if the other person would only change, then I would be okay. Well, what I've come to learn recently is that I have to be okay no matter what anyone else is doing in my life. And once I've learned that lesson, I am so much better off and I can close those doors that no longer serve me and I can step through those portals 
that are really, really welcoming me with open arms. If you want to know a little bit more about Cardia, go over to the practicalshaman.com hyper slash Cardia. That's C A R D E A, and you will learn all about this new wind goddess. I hope you're having a great evening, and how do you like this new video aspect of these winds? Let me know.